Hey, Math 31, I had a question on section 4.3's homework for number 33. So I just wanted to go over it. Here they start us with a function. They say, hey, graph that function and then pick a set of five ordered pairs using those inputs and use linear regression to verify the function. So I'm going to do almost all of this on our calculator just so you can see how that would work. So if I want to graph the function, let me go over to my y equals. When I take a look at my screen right now, I can see I have a plot on. If you want to turn it off, here's a different way to turn it off than what we've explored before. And I'll show you the two ways. But if you're on this screen, if you go up and you see my blinker kind of hovering over plot one, if I hit enter, I can turn it off. So that's a, probably a quicker way to turn it off. Uh, the other way to turn it off is to hit second and y equals. You can see it's off now but you can always toggle on and off by hitting enter. I, I ultimately want to leave it off right now, so let me go ahead and just highlight off. So let's go to our y equals, and let's type in the function they gave us, negative 2x minus 10. All right, now if I want to graph this function, I'm going to hit zoom 6. All right, so we tend to use zoom 9 when we have stats problems, which is great and I use zoom 6 when I have math problems. And this said pick a set of five ordered pairs using these inputs, and then we're going to use linear regression to verify these. So if I want to use these, these x values as inputs, if we just scooch over to my solutions, oops, there they are, you can see me plugging in negative 2 to the function, right? Negative 2x minus 10, and then I plug 1 in, negative 2x minus 10. I plug 5 in to negative 2x minus 10, and I get those y values. Now, we, we've talked about how you could use your table function to get that as well. So if I hit second in table, and I, it looks like I was starting with an x value of negative 2. If I scroll up here, you can see that when I plug in negative 2, I get negative 6 back out. And that's what you see in my algebraic work here. I plug negative 2 in for the x value, and I got negative 6 back out. And that should be an ordered pair on my scatter plot. Once I go make it. And then it looks like the next x value they asked me to plug in was 1. And when I plug 1 in, I get negative 12 back out. So you can see that algebraic work that I wrote out here also showing up in your table. And what your calculator, or I should say what this question was asking you to do, is say, hey, if you could take those x and y values and put them in your lists, could you verify that the line of best fit really was negative 2x minus 10? Well, let's try it data-wise now. All right, so we've got the math under our belts. Let's go and hit stat and enter. Anytime you want to do data entry, two buttons, stat, enter. Now I've got some data to clear out. I've talked before about how you can do clear lists. Um, you can hit clear and enter once you're up in the title of L1. I, I just want to show you a couple of other ways to do it. Let me go back to my home screen, so second in mode. Uh, a lot of times I want to just clear out a bunch of lists at once and I don't want to hit clear enter, clear enter because I am that lazy. So if you hit second and the plus sign, if you look at option four right there, I can go ahead and I can clear all the lists out at once and that is awesome. So now when I do this, if I hit stat enter again, let's go put our data in. We had what, negative two, one, five, six, and nine. And then over here, let's see what our y values were. I'm going to go back to this work here. I had negative 6, oops, yeah, negative 12, negative 20, negative 22, almost there, and negative 28. And it's never a bad idea to just confirm that you have the same number of data values in L1 as L2. And in this case, I have 5 in each of them because you can see the fifth entry is lit up for each of those lists. All right, so once we're there, if we want to figure out what the, the line of best fit is, or if you actually want to see this line, let me go make a stat plot. So let's do second and y equals, and let me turn this thing on. And now I'm going to hit zoom 9. All right, I can see that that line's going through there, but let's, let's go ahead and verify it. All right, so let me go back to my home page, and let's do our, I'm going to clear this out just so we can all see it. So here's that, that big progression to get your linear regression model or your, your linear model or your line of best fit. There's a whole bunch of vocab terms to describe the same thing. So we go stat, we go over to calc, option eight. We're gonna feed the calculator L1 and L2. We're gonna put another comma and we wanna drop it into one of our y equals. And again, you can pick any of your y equals that you want. Let me go back to my home screen with second in mode. 
but I'll pick Y1. Actually, just, just to be fun, I'll pick Y2. So let's hit vars. Let's go over to Y variables. I'll hit the right arrow key, and then it's enter, 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 if you want to pick Y1, or here I'll hit enter. I'll just scroll down to Y2, just for fun, hit enter, and then hit enter again. And you see that my calculator is going to confirm this. You see that I have a Y-intercept of negative 10 and a slope of negative 2. And so when I go to y equals now, you see that I have the, these are basically the same line. They're just written in different order. So this is the more mathy way to write it, negative 2x minus 10. And this is the more staty way to write it, negative 10 minus 2x. So in stats, we tend to write the y-intercept first and then the slopes. And I say slopes plural for when we get to something called multiple regression. We won't get to that in here. I just want you to know it's out there, and it's pretty awesome. Um, so we've we've verified the function, right? That that line, both of them, they they're the same line. So you can see it getting graphed twice. So we verified that function, and we are good to go. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.